All right, everybody. All the people say, yeah, yeah. We're back with another episode of Hooked on Fishing. Once again, with your host, Captain Crunch. We are back here at the Broad Run Creek in Manassas. And uh, we're going to go upstream this time to where the water was deeper instead of downstream like we did last time. First, we're gonna stop here where we lost our lure recently and caught a smallmouth, but where we also saw a water snake. We're gonna see if he's home to start the day. So, no snakes out right now. That's always good. I think we'll start here, work our way up there where it looks a little shallower. We might have better luck. I just don't know if this lure is going to be any good. I don't have any confidence in this because I haven't used it. Or at least I haven't caught anything on it. Don't have any faith in this particular lure yet. But we'll see if it brings anything to the table. All right. I don't think this is a place to get in, so we're going to keep moving down upstream to new water. We explored the downstream a good ways. Today we'll do the upstream. On to the next spot. Well, we found a deep, slow section again. But no bites, no follows as of yet. I mean, it looks good in the water. I wonder if there's just not much in this water. Come on, fishies. Not seeing much action yet. Not seeing any action yet. You would think this water would hold something, unless there's no oxygen or some other problem that I don't know about. This is a good spot too, man. It really is. But we'll keep looking. So up here, I could have kayaked for sure, but for now, we want to see if there's even any other fish in here. Because right at this moment, I'm not getting a warm and fuzzy. But fortunes can change on a dime. I don't know. Could be this lure, just not the right, right mojo for this place. If that was a fish I'd be hanging around up here. Gotta be action there. No action so far. You don't keep after it though. You know how we do. We'll find them creek chubs. Cause you must believe they're in here. All I got to do is find the creek chubs. Well, still not even a bite. I am not, not sure about this location now. Well, we keep moving up and checking these cuts, but no, no bites yet. No bites yet. You would think that this water would have plenty of fish. But we are getting nothing, no response. We're gonna switch lures here in a minute. Here in a minute, we're gonna switch 
Well, we might be swishing right now. Oh. Got it. I don't know. I think maybe we should try a different lure. So that's what we're going to do. I don't think this lure is representing the best. Let's see what else we can come up with. I mean, we could try and go back to the Helgramites, but there's a lot of snags down there. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of snags. Oh, we could try this. These are new. Want to try that? Let's try that. Might be too small. But it might get us some new action. Let's give it a shot. Uh, that doesn't look good at all. I don't see its tail moving. What is that? Oh, we got a muskrat over there. Yeah. Went up over into there. Straight over there. Alright, we're going to keep searching a little further. Going to keep it moving. People in their garbage suck. Stop leaving your garbage, people. Unless you are garbage. Seeing lots of turtles. There's a turtle bud right there. Didn't get him on camera, I don't think, but he's there. So another spot that's semi-deep looks real juicy no bites we're going to keep looking upstream see what else we can find i'm hearing running water so we might be getting into some shallow oxygenated water we'll find out on we go all right yet another spot see if we can find anything so far been disappointing. Tell you what though, we're gonna switch this out. I don't think this is a good crappy jig. I don't think it's right for what I'm trying to do here. This is just depressing, man. Thought this creek had life in it. But now I'm not so sure. I don't think there's any fish in here, hardly. That one smallmouth might have been it. <laughs> of course, that's not true, but there may not be many like it. We switched lures several times in the attempt to elicit reaction finally we got fish on and it's a huge smallmouth huge huge smallmouth whoa buddy now that that's what we're talking about baby Look at that. So, the hop and drop is what we needed. That is a serious fish right there. Top of the jaw.
top of the jaw. Look at that. That's a good one. That's a good smallie. I'd say he's many inches. <laughs> many inches. Let's see what the scales say. All right, without the grip, he's almost two pounds. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby at all. Beautiful, beautiful bronze colors. It was all about hopping the jig. So we're gonna do some more of that. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. You made my day. Almost lost my pack. Thanks for making my day, buddy. You are awesome. We're gonna do a flip release. Oh, sorry for the belly flop, man. But, uh, yeah, he took off. He's gone. He survived the flop. All right. We are finally on the board. Finally on the board. Yes, sir. Okay. Would I call that a pattern? That I don't know, but we found something that worked. That's the key. That action gave us a bite. So that action, we should continue. He didn't put up a whole lot of fight. All right, battery died at an inopportune time. That was a sweet smallie. He didn't put up a whole, whole lot of fight. I think he might have been shocked that he was hooked. But that was, wow, almost a two pounder. I am, I am now a little more intrigued by this place. It's like nothing and then pow and it's like what is the pattern okay i've tried several different lures and colors without any particular response until now so right now we're on a green pumpkin with a significant jig head i want to say it's a it's over a tenth i don't know how big it is and instead of straight retrieving we were lifting and lifting and reeling and then dropping lifting and reeling and then dropping so we're going to give that a little more effort and see if that elicits more of a response like it just did See, we're lifting, reeling, dropping. Lifting, reeling, dropping. Up and down. As soon as we get a fish, then we get snagged. And that's why running the bottom when you're not waiting is tough. You're gonna lose a lot of equipment. Might've just been that fell right in front of his face and it was irresistible at that point. Either way, we got one fish, one fishies, one fish. 
two fish, and we need two fish, red fish, blue fish. No, bronze fish. That's all I care about. I'm surprised that wasn't even a large mouth. That was a straight two pound smallie. But I'll put in a lot of effort for that one smallie. A lot of effort. Like a little better return on my investment. There was one two pounder out there. There's got to be more. Got to be more. Got to be more. Tell you what, I've caught more ants on me than I've caught fish. I don't know where they're coming from. How they're getting on me. But they're doing it. It's like ants in my pants. There's that same snag again. Fish on. Fish on. I know you didn't get to see him jump a bunch just now, but he did. Oh, look, running for the bank. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Look at that, another smallie. Okay, we have a pattern. Now he's about a one pounder. Why has he got red eyes? Is a red-eyed smallie? That's a strange. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You're just flailing around on your eye. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, your eye is messed up because of that. Because you wouldn't sit still. But you're a fish, you're he you'll heal. I'm sorry about that. You go back and grow up to be big and strong, buddy. Yeah. He swam off. He all right. Fish are quite resilient. They can heal from significant damages. You'd be surprised what they can survive and recover from. This, this bait's definitely getting tore up, but it's getting it done. So I don't want to change it out when we're finally, finally on a pattern. That's two from this spot. All right. All right, I'm gonna call this spot done. All right, next spot. I'm gonna try the same pattern and hope that we don't get snagged. I'm gonna try this spot real quick. Oh, picked up a bunch of slime. Whole bunch of slime. Seaweed. You would think a fish would be hanging down here waiting to ambush some shit. That's what smallies like to do. Had a bite. We're back basically at the beginning. And we just had a bite here but it wasn't significant enough. Probably a sunfish or a creek chub overzealous. We're gonna try here for just a few more minutes and then we're gonna head on out. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. 
We'll see. We will see. Fish on right there. <laughs> Little smallmouth right there, right in front of me. Look at you, buddy. Little seven inch smallie. And you throated that shit, too, didn't you? Let's see if we can flip you. And he's gone. And boy. Minnow's about had it. I hear voices. I wonder if they're coming here. So that's three. Went from huge the smaller to smaller <laughs> shrinking smallies that's what they are shrinking smallies incredible shrinking smallies oh there's a duck an actual duck not a big old canadian geese goose but an actual mallard Oh, something may have come after that big old exposed hook, but what are you going to do? I think we broke off. Yes, we did. All right, time to hydrate. We're back out. That's the end of the second Broad Run Creek adventure consisting of uh, three smallmouth. Not a great day, but we didn't get skunked. Sun is shining, it's hot out here now. We might move on to a second location today, I don't know. We're gonna see how that plays out, how much time we have. Yes, there's a big pond over there, but it's no trespassing. It's a water authority, something or other. It's all fenced in. It's probably a bunch of fish in there, but you can't fish it. Anyway, thanks again for joining me. This has been your host, Captain Crunch. Thanks for watching my channel, Hooked on Fishing. Stay tuned for new episodes just about every week. If you enjoy my adventures or my content, please like and subscribe. And uh, you're always welcome to leave comments, questions, recommendations, whatever. Or just give me a hard time. Whatever you want to do, I'm ready for it. Thanks, guys, and peace out. Air conditioning.
It's a nice looking jet though. I know, it's just looking like oh, it's cool. Never was too big on the older stuff, other than the, as far as the earlier jets. Much prefer F-16s and F-15s and newer. You have to ask the dance sometimes about where he got the nickname Sparky. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> in West Virginia and his Mustang. Oh, yeah, it was, well, no, it was over off of uh, Maryland, right outside the Beltway on the Maryland side. Oh, okay. So, I thought it was in West Virginia for you. Wasn't it near train tracks, too? Uh, I'm not sure. That's it's a hot touch of mine. Yeah, he, he went right through it. Then he was old Sparky. <laughs> he was telling me about the line out here, and I was like, yeah. you better be mindful of that shit because you're known for hitting them things. <laughs> that ladybug. Just about every jet, doesn't he? Yeah. He's got a Hornet and yep. an F-16, F-15. That A-10 there is one of the nicest flying jets. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're great planes, period. He's got an F-14, doesn't he? Uh-huh. Uh, Turbine-powered one? Yeah. That's got to be awesome. Do you see the new Top Gun movie yet? No. What are they flying in it? Uh, Super Hornets. Okay. Well, supposedly, yeah. Supposedly the movie's really good, but it's got real, the military let him use real pilots real and real pilots. planes and real, real everything, yeah. Which is part of what's going to make it good, but I'm really surprised that they did that considering who paid for the movie and yeah. who owns the movie. And I don't know why the hell they waited so many years to do the movie in the first place. I know. Gear down. Doors. And three wheels. It's just going to be weird with him flying single-seater jets this time with no reel. Yeah. It's just one guy in each plane that was part of what made that movie good was there was two guys in the plane yep. for dialogue oh, and stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. otherwise he's got to either talk to himself or talk to the radio right uh, he got enough view bring her home you are long Jet too. Throttle management. Yeah. It gets down too low. It's not like a drop plane. We yeah. fall in love. It takes a little bit for the, for the turbine for to spin back up. Out. Exactly. But it doesn't torque steer, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised that he was a little long that time. Yeah. That's not like him. But I'm sure they're still getting used to this new field. Yeah. There, yeah, he's good this That's time. Nicer now. And he's got plenty of rough work. He's, he's, he's not even halfway over the runway. Perfect. Nice. Nicely done.